Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I am going to do your December the 17th Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. The title of the meditation is Patience and Commitment to the Process. Having patience for discussion or waiting until the next meeting before moving forward with a decision saves the energy and goodwill lost when hasty actions have consequences. That comes from the Guiding Principles book, Tradition 2, Four Groups. The work we do in NA service is important. When we serve well, more addicts will have the chance to hear our message and find recovery. We make a huge difference in the lives of addicts. Our sense of urgency for helping addicts can go a long way in helping us to stay motivated to serve well. We strive to be efficient, thorough, and creative in our efforts. Lives are on the line after all. In our efforts to be expedient, we run the risk of making mistakes. Adhering to our traditions, local laws, and good old-fashioned common sense may require careful planning, consideration, and sometimes lengthy discussion. Seemingly endless debates can put our principles before personalities, muscles, to the test. The more complicated things get, the more difficult it is to communicate well. We want answers and solutions as soon as possible. If an ideal requires more time and thought than we want to give, we either dismiss it out of hand or throw caution to the wind and just do it. In both cases, we are doing ourselves and in a, a disservice. Scrapping a good idea we don't want to think through can mean missing out on a chance to reach more addicts. Putting a half-baked ideal into action can lead to unexpected complications or consequences. Patience is more than simply waiting things out. It's making the commitment to be present through the process. When we devote time and mental energy to challenging discussions, even when they're mind-numbingly tedious, we honor ourselves, our fellow trusted servants, and the addicts yet to hear our message. Patience is more than just waiting for something to be done. In my service, I will commit to being present for the process. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer and the third step prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Third step prayer. God, Take my will in my life. Guide me in my recovery. Show me how to live. Awesome. Well, good morning, everyone. We're talking about patience and commitment to the process and having the patience for a discussion or waiting until the next meeting before we move forward with a decision, how that can save the energy and goodwill um, that could be lost if we were to act hastily. Um, because all actions have consequences, right? All actions, whether they be good or bad, have consequences because everything in life is built upon the thing that preceded it, okay? So it's this continuity of time. So what I'm doing right now is going to serve as, if I stay in the moment, right? What I'm doing right now is going to serve as a foundational base for what I do in the next hour. There's no way for me poss to possibly remove this meditation and the covering of it out of my day because I'm doing it right now. It will 
have to be a part of my day. So that looks like it down the line, two hours from now, if I'm having a discussion about service, very likely this meditation will come to my mind, right? Or if my boys are trying to clean a portion of the house hastily, this meditation will probably come to mind and I will think, well, why don't they just take their time to do it right? That's what this is saying. There's no way for me to remove what is happening now from the future. So everything has a consequence, whether what we're doing is good or what we're doing is bad, there will be a consequence. And sometimes when we're talking about consequences, we're talking about negative things that happen as a result of having done bad things. But consequences don't necessarily have to be bad, right? The consequence of going to a job, even though we use it in a negative light, we go to a job and work a job 40 hours a week, you expect to get paid. A consequence of working a job for hire is that you get a paycheck right? Or we like to more readily say the reward, right? The reward for going to a job is that you get a paycheck. The reward or consequence for breaking, breaking and entering into a place and stealing is that you're going to be arrested and do some jail time. We don't really think of that being a reward, right? We think of it more as being a consequence because that has more of a negative connotation. But in truth, it's saying that the effort you put into something, you're going to get the result of that. So if I am in a service meeting and because I'm tired, because I'm angry, maybe I'm having personality conflicts with someone and I'm tired of putting principles before personalities with them. And the moment they open their mouth, I get irritated and I really don't want to be in their presence longer than two hours once a month, right? So if I am not able to commit to the process, which sometimes is time consuming, and nerve wrecking, if I can't commit to the process, then maybe I shouldn't be involved with that process. If I'm forcing results and answers because this is old business and I'm tired of it being on the old business because we can't come up with a solution that everyone can take a vote on or we can't break the majority, right? So I have to act a fool to try to force my hand. If I can't do that, then I'm not where I need to be on this because a lot of the good things that come, come with work, come with effort, come with patience comes with time of being able to discuss thoroughly, making sure that the traditions, the local laws and good old fashioned common sense is being adhered to. But if I'm pushing, hastily pushing a decision, one, I have to question my motives and probably everyone else will too. But two, am I cut for this position? Am I really willing to be invested from the beginning to the end? Or am I only invested when it goes my way? Those are things we need to consider when we're doing service work. Because patience is more than just waiting for something to be done. And in service, be committed to be present for the process. And when I think about being present for the process, that means that goodwill is a part of being present. To just show up 
to be a part of the process with a, a stank attitude is not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for the people listening to me. And it's not good for those addicts who have yet to hear our message. So let's be mindful today if we're involved in service on that level. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.